Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. I hope you all doing fine. Today we are going to make an okra dish also known as Vendakya or lady's finger. We are using a little over 1 pound of fresh okra. This is a pretty dry dish but if you want moist you can add 1 to 2 chopped tomatoes. Please check the description box for the link for another okra dish I had posted some time ago. Please stay tuned and I am going to share with you some tips and tricks of this recipe. Wash the okra thoroughly and we can pat dry to remove any water. You can chop the okras the way you like it but I will show you the way I cut the okras. We can split the okras lengthwise and cut into one inch size pieces. We are going to add salt, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of cooking oil and mix thoroughly with a little force. Now we can microwave for 2 minutes to remove some sliminess. Heat the pan with the 2 tablespoons of cooking oil and add 1 large sliced onion. When the onions are almost golden brown we can add 2 tablespoons of peanuts. You can also add 2 tablespoons of chopped cilantro at this time. We are transferring the onion peanut mix to a bowl. Keep it aside and we are going to use it later in the cooking process for garnishing. We are using the same pan and the oil to saute the onions. Now we can add one large sliced or chopped onion. Saute for a few minutes until the onions are translucent. Now we are adding 5 to 6 grated garlic cloves, 2 teaspoons of grated ginger and 1 chopped green chilli. Saute for 2 more minutes and we are going to add our dry spices. We can add 1 teaspoon of crushed red pepper, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of crushed black pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder or paprika. Saute for 1 or 2 minutes in low heat and slightly brown the masalas. You can add 2 chopped tomatoes if you want to have a moist dish with a thick gravy. We can saute the masalas under the oil separates. You can adjust the spices according to liking. You can totally avoid crushed black pepper or cayenne pepper or green chilies if you cannot handle the heat. You can replace cayenne pepper powder with the paprika or cashmere chilli powder. We are adding the microwave okras and we can coat thoroughly with the masalas. Saute for one minute and we can cover and cook for another 2 more minutes. Now we can add 1 teaspoon of garam masala and 1 teaspoon of sugar. I am going to share with you a few tips before the garnish. My mom always says that cutting the vegetables is an art and the way you cut can increase the taste. You can cut the okras the way I did it if you want. You can microwave the okras for 2 minutes to remove the sliminess. Slightly brown the masalas and add the garam masala almost at the end of the cooking. Adding 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 tablespoon of chopped cilantro will definitely enhance and balance the taste. You can garnish with the fried onions and peanut mix at the time of the serving. You can avoid the peanuts if you are allergic to peanuts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This dish is paired with the rice or naan or chapati. I am going to say bye now. I will see you soon with another great recipe. Have a great day.